Hello friends and welcome back to Too Many Minis. My name's Ozzy. We've got another delivery from the old Hachette Partworks Stormbringer magazine. Let's get into it. We've got a binder. First binder with dividers. Read, collect, build, paint, play. I might split my stuff into this, but ultimately I don't want to be paying £10 for binders, I don't think. So, I uh, probably, and having a huge collection of binders on the shelf, so I'm probably not going to get more of these. I think you can opt out on the on the website. Maybe you have to contact customer services. It is nice though. It is of a high quality. I've got a Corax White, which I don't actually have because I just have the old white scar. So that's cool. And a Katachan Flesh, which looks like a really good base dark skin tone. Useful. Don't have that. And you got one of those bendy ruler things. Actually quite good in game to use these. So I think we've had a few of them already, at least one. Paint Guide has you using the Katachan Flesh for the leather on the core boys. And adding some white details to the Stormcast. Yeah, there's a lot of paint. There's a lot of paint coverage in this issue. There's the wound markers, which they forgot to put in at some point. I'm sure they were meant to be card, not flimsy paper, but come on, it's not a big deal. It's not what you're getting the magazine for. Movement and unit coherency in the rules. How to charge. You're getting a bit more in the rules. Issue 8 has the Lord Imperiton and his bird dog. Lord Imperitant's a uh, nice leader option you can have, and his his bird dog is very cool. Uh, I actually started painting one of these because I have one from eBay or something. I actually started painting up already. It's a nice model. He's got a big, eagly birdie thing wrapped around his shoulders. Slightly weird if you were his pet bird dog and you saw that he had a big bird around his neck. And that's that weird. Um. It's a basis, but it's a cool model. Like you see, the detailing on that is super nice, and it comes with more of the cool tufty bits, which you can use for your crawl boys if you want to add a bit of swampiness. And it comes with two head options: a very nice helmetless one, and then a weird metallic head. And you get a base M brush it's a sort of flat brush here he is griffhound is the proper name for a bird dog large base brush they're calling it and it's showing you how to get use a bigger brush to do bigger areas not a bad idea more on the movement phase number nine comes with the swamp caller shaman and the pot grot and this is one of the best models in the in the cool boys range in my opinion the Swamp Caller Shaman has this great kind of skull on his back. And the Pot Grot has this kind of kitchen kitchen rack on his back with his pot. I'll show you what they look like built up because I got these off eBay last year. Um, the Pot Grot is a fantastic model. Very small. And very big in comparison. The Swamp Caller Shaman pouring out some magic goop from his little bowl. He's got the skull on his back. They're really cool models. I think Potgrots. Are Potgrots the ones that are super good in, in Warcry? I can't remember if they've balanced that now. We've got a great couple of models. I'll be keeping them for conversion since I've already got them. There'll be some useful parts. There's some lore in this one. Gods and Beasts. With more incredible illustrations. Monsters of the Mountains. And then this is being a new unit. We've got their kind of unit stuff where you can give them nice names. And if you just got the paints from this series, you're starting to have a fair few of them now. You can get to pretty much a half painted stage with them now. Oh, Arcane Assault. So this is some magic-y, magic -y, wizardy stuff. Armies of Gur. That's a nice fold out map. Love a bit of that. Issue 10. And it's a big one for me. 
this comes with Zandai's True Seekers, which is a Warhammer Underworlds warband that came out in the Harrow Deep box game. Um, I'm not sure if it's available at the moment directly from Games Workshop, but at any point before this would have cost you quite a lot of money to get hold of. So eight ninety nine for it is fantastic. It's four models, four character models, with scenic bases. And they wind up looking like this, and they're just really nice as part of an army. If you're if you're doing an AOS army of um, Stormcast, and you've got these guys in there, the the Underworlds Warbands inclusion in in these magazines is one of the best best things about the range. I think you, they're great value to get four really proper character models for eight ninety nine. But also they are often some of the best models in the range. The Underworlds ones, they've really got so much character. Look at this bow here. And one of them's carrying a lantern, I think the leader, to be extra kind of uh, representative of how they're seeking the truth, shining a light. Again, with the colours we've got so far, you can get up to that level with them. And then it's showing us the next couple of issues, some big ones, a Beast Skewer Killbow coming up in issue 11. And the Stormstrike Chariot in issue 12. Again, these are great value ones. Like, this is going to sit you back a bit, I think. So, $8.99 for them is great. But that's what we've got this issue, this 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 delivery with the binder. Uh, let me know what you think of these ones. I am, yeah, like I had these two. I bought them previously. But they are great pieces. They're not going anywhere. I'm going to be using them for stuff. But I was really excited about this. I think these are going to be fantastic models to paint up. And I'm looking forward to these bigger bits in the next few issues. Yeah, the next four issues when we get them are going to be the chariot, the big bolt thrower, three man skewer bolt boys, and a couple more paints. So a really high value delivery. That next one, there must be eighty pounds of miniatures at, at retail in there. So great stuff. Um, join a Discord and share how you're getting on with your with your Stormbringer. We've got a bunch of people sharing on there how they're doing. Maybe we're going to do some paint along, some streams, specifically for Stormbringer. Especially to get me going, because I've fallen a bit behind with other projects. So other projects taking over. So this would be great to get back on this. I really need to paint my gut rippers. Let me know how you're getting on with the magazine. Are you keeping up with it? That's the, <laughs> that's the main thing. I'm definitely behind already. But that's okay. It's all good. Don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at the 1,000 subscribers. Well, almost, you know, kind of. And we're going to do a giveaway then. And... Uh, Thanks for watching and I appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Bye.